The government announced the interim budget for fiscal year 2024-25 and it was met with mixed reaction from business leaders and the opposition. While some hailed the budget for addressing the vulnerable classes, others felt that there's more that could have been done to give some respite for the middle income families. Prime Minister Narendra Modi hailed the recently announced interim budget, stating that the budget addresses four main pillars of developed India, which include farmers, women, youth and the poor. He further added that the budget guarantees a strong foundation for Vixit Bharat 2047. In this budget, there is confidence in this budget. कॉन्फिडेंस है ये बजट विकसित भारत के चार स्तंभ युवा गरीब महिला और किसान सभी को एम्पावर करेगा निर्मला जी का ये बजट देश के भविष्य के निर्माण का बजट है इस बजट में 2047 के विकसित भारत की नींव को मजबूत करने की गारंटी है इस बजट में फिजिकल डेफिसिट को नियंत्रण में रखते हुए कैपिटल एक्सपेंडिचर को 11 लाख ग्यारह हजार एक करोड़ रुपए की ऐतिहासिक ऊंचाई दी गई है अर्थशास्त्रियों की भाषा में कहें तो एक प्रकार से स्वीट स्पॉट है इससे भारत में 21वीं सदी के आधुनिक इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर के निर्माण के साथ ही युवाओं के लिए अनगिनत रोजगार के नए अवसर तैयार होंगे Goa Chamber of Commerce and Industries President Srinivas Dempo welcomed the interim budget, stating that Goa can immensely benefit from the budget. See, industry today uh, wants more of reforms than subsidies. You know, uh, at least the personal belief uh, at whenever I go and meet industry fellows is, they say we want to focus on two things. One is the reform process, ease of doing business, and uh, you know, because the demand in India is there. We are the shining star amongst all the problems that the global uh, order is facing. So I think the government is focusing rightly in terms of delivering on the infrastructure front as well as the reform process in taxation. But Goa is unique in the sense that Goa is a small state. And I think, uh, you know, we need to focus on, recently there was Goa Invest Summit, we need to focus on what sectors should we invite in Goa. There have been a couple of sectors named like IT, ITES, uh, logistics and warehousing, you know, medical devices, electronics, because our land size is small. So I think, and if you look at the FM's budget, it basically focuses on many of these sectors. So I think, uh, you know, Goa can immensely benefit uh, from, but again, this is a vote on account. When we sit in July again, probably we'll get a better sense. Professor Dr. Manoj Kamat too opined that the budget focuses on bringing positive reforms to the Indian economy. वो अर्थसंकल्प मंजे भावी यूपी अर्थसंकल्प आची एक बड़ी इतने बड़ी झलक आसा आज मैं कह देता हूँ अन्य या बजट आचो संग्रह जो फोकस आसा तो युवा वर्ग कामगार वर्ग शेतकरी वर्ग ग्रामीण अर्थव्यवस्था अन्य बाइला मंजे विमेन फोक अंचे संबंध केंद्रबिंदु दोरुन हो अर्थसंकल्प कहला जरी सैलरीड एम्प्लॉई मंजे पगारदार नौकरदार हंका सैलरी इनकम टैक्स आप इतर कस्टली रिबेट की और कस्टली फायदे जरी दिलो ना तरी सुधा रिफॉर्म्स मंजे परिवर्तन हड़पा बदल हड़पा खातिर एक फुल्लो संबंध भारताची अर्थव्यवस्थें सुयोग अशे बदल हड़पा खातिर एक बरेतलो बरो प्रयत्न निर्मला सितारमानं केल्लोसा पायाभूत विकास सुविधा ग्रामीण अर्थव्यवस्था अने सामान्य लोक है या बजट अच्छे केंद्र बिंदु असा या बजट अच्छे एक भट्टी खासियत मंजे फिजिकल टेफिसिट जी तूट असा महसूल अच्छी ते महसूल अच्छी तूट खूब कमी असा या अर्थसंकल्प ग्रोथ एडेट असा मंजे सभावी आर्थिक विकास वार वाड़ी कलाव पा खातिर विकास दर वाड़ी कलाव पा खातिर जो जो योजना सरकार करे आसान ते सगड़ा सरकार योजनाओं से पाठ या अर्थसंकल्पन क्या ला Meanwhile, the All India Trade Union Congress Goa criticized the budget, alleging that it is a boost for upper middle class and doesn't address the lower income classes. 
this is budget is also like a election uh, advertisement whatever is given and uh, it is just like a election jumla i don't want to say that jumla but worse than that and entire budget provisions are not for the middle class not for the employer class uh, employees who are the government employees or the lower middle class it is only people who can survive in this country all the multinational all the small sector industries are also going to collapse what about the essential commodities people were thinking that at least because of the election this thing on there will be some uh, limelight on the essential commodity nothing is there in that budget they say it is a temporary so anything happens it is always temporary thing so that people said baba wait no let you elect us again so again we will see that you will get a permanent good budget after everything is set up earlier before the some few days back they were saying that we are going to present full fledged uh, budget now they are talking of the interim budget like the elections are very nearer so uh, the budget which is given today it is uh, booming the economy of the higher middle class goa 365 team